Hey guys, so I'm making my intro at the end of the video when I've already done my nails. Quality content, really. Uh, trust me to deliver quality content. Anyway guys, um, hi. So, I needed my nails done. Hectically, it was bad. It was bad. It was really bad. But I needed them done and I'm basically going to be showing you guys in this vlog me getting my nails done. I'm super, super excited to show you guys this process. Literally, I'm even getting like a full new set. It was that bad, guys. So, if you are interested to see how I get my nails done, I get a new set every two months. In between, I get refills. Okay, you've probably seen it in the thumbnail, but I got my nails fully done into a different shape even. Normally, I go for a ballerina, but then I decided to do square this time. So, if you guys are interested to keep on watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me. And yeah, guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so this is the current situation, guys. Like... I genuinely do not know what to tell you. That's my left hand, and then this is my right. <laughs> okay, so let me explain. I actually have a story time about what's going on here. With this one, I broke it. Literally everybody on Instagram saw it, so I let this one grow out. I got a refill, right? So that's why um, like my actual nail is so long, because I actually did get a refill. So this one, obviously, I broke it. I'll show you footage. Oh, what's going on with it or what happened with it but yeah so i didn't get a refill here so this is how much my nails have actually grown um obviously i got a refill so you couldn't see that too well so it's too much growth i let so i split it here and i just let it kind of like grow out so that i could cut it off and i don't have to deal with a split nail right so basically when i take this off i'm gonna have a new nail um underneath grand shop this one i got a refill i just Ugh, I hate it. And then here I cut this morning. I cut this this morning because I was bumping it a lot. It's too long. My nails are too long. So obviously I was bumping them a lot and they hurt a lot. And then here, okay, it's fine. Nothing too crazy is happening with this nail. And the same for this one. But obviously they're just way, way too long. This is a problematic hand. So sharp, everything is fine over here. Here I had to take, I had to peel off my nail because it was shaky like my index fingers are the ones that normally get they're the ones that get damaged first basically yeah and then i had to take it off because i was gonna break my nail Shapo here i also cut my middle fingers i cut this morning because they were just hurting me even in the shower couldn't hold stuff everything was just a mess so yeah i cut my middle fingers this morning everything's fine here and i had to cut this one yesterday was well, yesterday yes i had to cut this one yesterday because it was just it was just, it was just. So yeah, I hated the set. Hated the set, but I needed it because it was just chilled. My December nails were kind of crazy, so I just needed a chilled set. And yeah, yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it. And I'm actually going to change the shape. This is my normal shape. I actually really love, let me not even show you that hand. I love this shape. Um, I'll show you pictures of the actual set. The shape itself is called Ballerina. I can't do coffin nails because my fingers are too skinny. Um, and I'm just gonna have you know those girls that have fat nails. That's normally because their hands are too small for coffin um, So yeah, I just get ballerina and it's perfect But this time I want skinny square and I wanted an ombre. So yeah, let's go All right, so the very first time I went to go get my nails I did a soak off and all she's really doing is she's taking off the nails that I didn't manage to cut off myself and then she's going to be soaking off my acrylic so that includes a little miss wonky on my thumb and basically how they do it in this salon is they don't do the foil method they do the dip your fingers in acetone method it was my first time at this salon doing it like this and i was terrified the first time because it actually really stings like it burns so basically all you do is like take your fingers and dip it in acetone and then she files the acrylic off in layers it's satisfying to watch but it actually it actually kind of hurts but i'm getting used to it like i'm i'm actually really getting used to it um basically the acrylic kind of falls off acetone like eats into it and it like basically goes off in layers and yeah that's basically what she's going to be doing to all the fingers that still have acrylic on them 
touch my vibe. Let me go off. And then with my pinky finger, I was unable to file it because of just how sensitive, like it really, really hurt. So what we're doing is we're cutting it off a little bit with like this little file thing. And then she's going to continue with the rest of my nails. So basically she's not my nail tech. So all I did was I did my soak off on this day, went home, left my nails like this for two days. And then I came back two days later to actually get my sets so now i'm back with my actual nail tech and all she's doing is she's pushing back my cuticles but with this drill bit and i don't know do i prefer the pushback method with the stick or this honestly i think the stick because the drill does kind of hurt um but then all she's doing is taking off the cuticle the excess cuticle with this little tweezer situation that she uses and yeah basically this is just making space to make sure that my nails look nice neat and they're long enough to give her space and then she's going to take a file and basically file down my nails so she has a nice even surface to work with and put the tip on so nothing is bumpy this is what really will take your nails away and not necessarily the acrylic when people say that acrylic is bad for your nails they're talking about the filing there's a lot of filing that goes on when you have acrylic and then basically all she's going to do is just create a nice shape and like file down my nails so that everything is nice and neat and my nails aren't too long underneath the actual tip but she's not going to like file them down to the point where i have no more nails left because she actually needs a little bit of nail to stick the tip onto and if i've got excess nails like you see how this one is super grown out she's just gonna cut it off and then file it down to make it nice and neat Easy pop, where you they go, go, where they go up, catch my vibe, let me go up now it's time for the actual tip so what she's going to do is normally she measures it out and then she puts glue on the tip of the nail um i'm going to get the rectangle square type shape so she's going to put that tip on if i was getting ballerina she'd put the stiletto tip on the stiletto literally looks like a triangle but i'm getting a different shape this time and now she's going to cut it off and create my shape as you can see i don't cut that much off like i really could just leave the tip the way it comes um but she's gonna cut it off a little bit i did go a bit shorter honestly this is short for me i'm looking at my nails right now and it's it's, it's kind of short like normally they're a bit longer but i'm not complaining um then she's going to create the shape we took so much time with this step because i was like I don't want my nails to look fat. I don't want my nails to look fat. And she was like filing it down and like actually trying to get the shape the way that I wanted it. And shout out to her because she really did that thing. I really love my shape. I am absolutely obsessed with it. But obviously after she puts acrylic, she's going to create more of a shape because she has to still file down the nail when it has acrylic on it so you'll see that the shape actually is just going to get better and better and this is the acrylic she's going to be using i don't know why it says bath salts honestly i'm not a nail tech so i don't know what's going on but i'm going to be using a white and pink and this is the rose bath salts if you do your own nails and you want to know what we used <laughs> this is what we used um and yeah that's how my raw shape is looking and now we're gonna put the acrylic on the nail um i don't know how i don't know what magic what sorcery this is but i don't know what this purple liquid is she she literally calls it liquid um when they were talking amongst themselves they were saying like where's the liquid so it's basically liquid and the powder so she takes the liquid she puts it she dips it in the powder and then she creates this um mushy type of substance which is basically the acrylic and she's going to be doing it in two sections so the ombre takes much longer because you take two colors and you merge them together to create a color and an ombre effect so she's going to start off with the white and it's going to look crazy i'm literally going to look like the girls on like um the gatsby what's that thing called jersey licious yeah so um the white is done now and she's gonna put on the pink the pink is gonna go closest to my cuticle and she's basically going to merge the two colors together it's so cool to watch but yeah that's basically how she creates the ombre and she takes a lot of time with the pink just to make sure that it actually is seamless and there isn't like a weird 
chopper block type of color situation she actually makes sure that it looks nice and ombre and she takes her time with it so yeah this is the filing that i was talking about that she's going to do after the acrylic so now she's got the color right she's basically going to perfect the shape because obviously you saw the way that the acrylic is it kind of adds bulk to the nail so now she's just like filing it down filing it down and this is going to be the official shape so this is really where she has to like work her butt off kind of filing because she was filing for a long time and then when she's done with that she's going to take a bigger drill bit and she's going to cut down the size of the shape so basically it looked bumpy and lumpy so basically she's just gonna make sure that it's nice and clear and smooth and then it's time for the top coat baby this is where i saw that my nails are baddies like this is where i was like oh oh these are cute because they were matte first and i was like oh i don't know what's going on but then she put the top coat on and i was like oh oh we've arrived so yeah that's basically what she's going to do and i'm going to put my hands in the dryer and basically this is how my nails look like this is the first time i've ever done ombre this is the first time i've ever done square i'm obsessed like i really like it um i think my refill is going to be square as well so i'm going to get an even better opportunity to get an even better shape because she's gonna file it down and make it look and make it look so yeah i'm done so yeah guys um that's basically me i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is something different i have never done a vlog based on just my nails maybe because i haven't been doing my nails for that long when did i actually start doing my nails properly i think i started like end of october and it's like March now. So I haven't been doing my nails for super long. But I have been attached. The longest I've gone without my nails from October to now. Is the two days that I gave my fingers and hands to rest. So yeah. So yeah. Um, if you guys enjoy this video. Then do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. I would love to have you guys a part of the family. And yeah. I'm going to be trying things like this more often. Like different types of content. If you guys have any suggestions. Let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah. We'll have a chat down there. But yeah. For now. I'm completely done. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you want details on this hair. Subscribe to the channel. You will definitely get more details. Alright guys. Love you. Mwah.